In this tutorial we're going to switch the control scheme to more of a first person shooter mouse behavior where you can toggle UI mode on and off. So first what we want to do is go ahead and open the inventory player controller and we want to remove the is right mouse button down logic that we have. So if we go into the input access events here we want to simply rename is right mouse button down to is UI mode and we want to set these branches to false. That will make it so when we move the mouse in UI mode, it's not going to rotate our player. Now we can actually remove this whole right mouse button logic because we're no longer using it. And we want to set up an event for left alt that we can use to toggle between UI mode and game mode, and an event that our inventory player controller can call to set our UI mode. So we'll just give it a tool here called UI mode. Create a function called set UI mode. And we'll give it the UI mode input. Now this will allow us to call from anywhere in our code to set the UI mode on the player controller. Next we're setting up the toggle. So on left alt release we want to simply not the UI mode to set it to the opposite. Okay, and then lastly in the initialized player we want to remove the show mouse cursor and set input game mode in UI. We'll drop in the set UI mode function. We'll leave it set to false. Now if we go into the components inventory manager component, we simply want to call that event after load container slots and close container window. So we'll get owner. We'll cast it to our player controller, which is inventory player controller. Now we want to hook up the event set UI mode. We'll want to set that to true when we open a container and then we will set it back to false when we close a container. Okay, it looks good. Let's compile and save that. And now finally we will put the logic into the set UI mode function. So we'll just add a quick branch. We'll want to set the is UI mode. We'll also want to set the is movement locked. So now when it's true, we want to set UI mode to true and is movement locked to true. We'll want to show the mouse cursor. Now lastly, we want to set the input to game and UI, get a reference to ourself and put it in the target. You don't need to provide a widget to focus, just make sure that you set up the self-reference into the target, or it'll make you have to left-click to get focus. And then when we set it back to game mode, we simply want to pull set input game mode only, give it the self-target, and we are done. So let's compile, save, and give it a test. Okay, so when we start, you see that the mouse now moves the player. When you open a container, it switches to the UI mode. When it closes, it switches back. You can toggle it with the Alt key. This allows you to move while you have the UI open. There you go. That's it.